High Crusade. The center of the world, Jerusalem, is under the sway of the Paynim for 150 years now. Far away in Lincolnshire, England, Baron Sir Roger is gathering an army to teach the French a lesson and then go on to liberate Jerusalem. Red John, Brother Parvis, and the knights and soldiers sat at table. While making plans, a strange sight appeared in the skies. To everyone's astonishment, a giant flame and dart rolled over the castle. Was it the second coming? or a trick of the French. A door opened, and a blue-skinned demon appeared. A beam of fire came forth and laid one brave knight low. Red John quickly made an end to that demon. As more demons poured forth from the craft, bold knights rushed upon them with deadly force. Some of the knights began trying out the fire weapons. After the battle was over, only one blue demon remained. Brother Parvis was charged with making sense from that demon's babble. <laughs> Nevertheless, this demon, Ranitar, informed them that the Earth orbited the Sun, which was just another star. And he had come from zillions of miles away. Soon, Sir Roger changed his plans to use this alien sky boat. Vanitar would pilot them to the Holy Land, of course, at Sword Point. But the tricky alien switched the controls to automatically return to his home planet. Crusaders were blown away by their space travels among the stars. Finally they approached an alien planet. The Crusaders rushed forth to claim these land for the king. It seems that this blue demon race had conquered many worlds. <laughs> ah! 
After the negotiations failed, it was now the demon's turn to be conquered. The Crusaders learned to use their weapons with incredible skill. The Blue Demons didn't know what hit them. Eventually, after subduing world after world, the demons surrendered to the bold, smart, and powerful Englishman. <laughs> They even submitted to Brother Parvis as the Pope of Alien Worlds. Many years later, an unknown spacecraft flew over New Avalone, and landed. Amazingly, they were from Earth, almost long forgotten by the Crusaders. During their distractions and personal kingdom building, the true kingdom of Israel had finally been restored, and now the whole universe rightfully belonged to them. <laughs> 